Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. So today is going to be a little recap of my Invisalign. So this is a lifestyle video and I just found my, my original papers from the dentist and I'm going to try to pop in a photo and kind of like talk it through as I'm looking at it. So they gave me... I mean like let me see this little this little thing looks funny but I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys this one so what I have here is are the I'm gonna I'm gonna take a photo of it and try to make it as clear as I possibly can so you guys can see so they have six photos here um, of my teeth three of me now, my face looked a little chubby back then. So, you're going to notice once I'm going to pop in the thing, pop in the photo, that the top, te the top two teeth were slightly shifting inwards. Um, you can, you can tell from the angle of how this one is done. Then you have, let's see bottom can you really see no I'm gonna show you the top because the top is where the main issue was the bottom was but in this photo you can't really see the tooth it was just one tooth that I felt like it was slightly going backwards um, and then it looks like I guess I can show you this tooth, this picture too because as I look at my teeth now everything looks more rounded so I'm gonna cheese right now <laughs> and I'm gonna pop in one of these photos here so let me come up closer and just smile so I don't know if you guys so I have the the, the braces on now um they're looking really good so this is tray 19 I have 25 trays but up to 20 it's regular trays and the, the next five are retainers I know that I'm gonna order some more and I'll tell you why um, cause I think it's only been five five months it'll be five months if I do the entire thing yeah so if you guys can see they look really really straight I did wash my hands but let me take them off So, here's a good thing. You guys, you guys see? <laughs> so, they look really good. This tooth here, was it this one? This one. I think it should come out a little more. These are good. Now, my only issue, I don't know if it's an issue or if that's just how my teeth are shaped. So I have a button on this tooth and it's still like a little space because these definitely came together. I'm going to see what they say. It's not like it's an issue, but I do still feel like I have like a fang. I don't know if that makes sense. I look super greasy. I was outside today. And so that's it. The rest of them are moving good. Here's the other thing. Let me pop these back in. It's easy. Okay. <laughs> oh. The other thing is when oh the other good thing is that none of my knock on wood <laughs> none of my attachments fell off this whole time. Um they did say try to stay away from super hot foods. I drink tea guys, I do, but it's not like scorching hot, but it is hot enough to where you know I'm getting the herbs and stuff in my body. Um so I haven't had that issue. I told you guys I had a time where I had pain two to three different trays, but the top, oh, so the top where they shaved it down, that's together now. You can't even tell that they did anything there. Um, that's why I first felt the pain before I actually did the shaving because she said it was trying to shift there. So they had to make a little bit of space for me to actually let the teeth shift. But other than that, I think um, I would recommend Spark. 
I don't know anything about Invisalign. Um, what I've seen was excellent results from people too. Um, but I also heard that they were in a lot of pain. Now, I don't know if the pain, well, I'm, I'm sure it has something to do with the amount of shifting your teeth have to do. Um, because I only felt it a little bit here at the top and then a little bit at the bottom. Everywhere else, I'm pretty, pretty good with. Um, so, yes, I would recommend it. <sighs> I believe I said this before, but I'm going to say it again for those of you who are new to my channel. I initially went to my regular dentist for a quote. Um... She was 55 or 5600, right? But I remember someone on YouTube said, go to an orthodontist. And the reason why you should go to an orthodontist is because they are much more familiar with that because it's braces, right? Your regular dentist, yes, they may know, but I would recommend going to an orthodontist. Um, so she was charging me 5600. My insurance was covering, my dental insurance was covering. Whew, it was like a little bit. I don't even remember. It was low. But when I went to the new place, who were actually in network, they never accounted for my coverage. And they kind of messed up, which I was a little turned off by because she said that they didn't cover anything, that there was an age difference. And I'm like, mm, there's no way because my out of network dentist, they were covering a portion of it. I mean, it was small, but it was just like they were covering it. So I basically ended up it's so dark in my room, guys. I'm so sorry. Let me turn the light on because it's pretty dark. I'm going to turn on. I have a light on, but sometimes when... Oh, yeah. I don't I don't have my box light on either. So, um, so I called my insurance company myself and they said there was no cap on age. So when I called them back, I know she kind of felt a little taken aback and she tried to blame it on the, the new girl, but... They never called, so go to an in-network orthodontist if you can. Um, this place will happen to have really, really good reviews. They're really nice in there, so I lucked up in there close to where I live. Um, so I recommend these. <laughs> I, like I said, I don't know anything about Invisalign. I know they're similar. These trays are lighter than Invisalign. They do have, a, they both clear, but Invisalign has a slight yellow tint to it. These do not. I have not had any issues where I had to file them down except for once, but honestly, I don't think it was the tray. I think it was, well, it was the tray, but for whatever reason, it kept, it wasn't like it was sharp. It just kept pressing into my gum, my cheek. So I just like squeezed it together and that helped. Um, but they do give you a file for that. Make sure you guys are flossing. Listen. I know folks don't floss out there and I'm telling you now you need to floss your teeth because food will get stuck up there and you don't want that sitting under your tracks. Is it hard to manage with it? This is a question I always get. No. My friend knows that I love to eat. I'm always snacking and she's like, well, how are you with eating? I'm like, girl, I still eat. Okay. I just take them out and I, I, I you know, floss and brush my teeth, put them right back in. I, I don't make it a big deal. Um, if I have them out too long, I don't even worry about it because I usually have them on the, the amount, the right amount of time. <coughs> Excuse me. And another question I get is, would I do it again? I would. I'm 42, so... I mean, the older we get, our teeth are going to shift. My mom had beautiful teeth, guys. Like, I mean, they were so perfect. And she smoked cigarettes at one point, okay? They wasn't even yellow. Like, they just were perfect teeth. People always thought she had dentures. She just had really nice teeth. And I need my teeth to be like hers, okay? But I used to suck my thumb back in the day when I was a small child. So I did have, like, kind of, like, round teeth. And I could still see. Mm -hmm. Let me look can you guys see. It's kind of so bright. They were kind of round they still kind of round but i wouldn't do any shaving at like the the top of my teeth or anything like that um i don't want them like super sharp straight it's gonna look weird on me um and it's not it's not it's not i don't think it's needed another question i get is why would i want to do this at such a late age <laughs> well because <laughs> 
I was fine up until 40. <laughs> and then they just start, I started noticing the slight shift. I, it started with the bottom tooth and I was like, okay, no. And I'll tell you why I was like, whew, because I've never had anything wrong with my teeth. So for me, it's an investment. Um, one thing I don't like to see is people who make money. Um, I'll be honest with you. And if there are any guys that follow this page and you watch, I've seen men that make money or that have money and they don't do anything to their teeth. And I'm like, what? Like, drop a good little five. You have this, you have that, and you can't invest in your teeth. So it's kind of like, it's, it takes me back a little bit. I feel like if you have the money, just pay for it. Pay for it. I see people buy cars and stuff, right? That's a lot of money. Just pay for your teeth. Get it out the way. Trust me, you will feel so much happier. This particular guy, I knew he just like, I don't know. I just never understood why he, he's such a nice person, but I didn't understand. Then I thought, well, maybe it was like a health thing. I don't know. Get them all taken out. Just get some new ones. <laughs> it's not that bad, guys. It's worth it. Um, let me see. What else they asked me is the pain. I didn't have a lot of pain, like I said. Um, eating, going out, of course, is annoying as all heck. Um, but if you are, I'll say this. It's been times where I forgot my toothbrush. I did. And I had to, like, rinse with, like, water, like, really, really good. And put them back in before I got home. And the good thing is that I was still on my way home. So it wasn't like... I was in them for like hours, right? 30 minutes max, but they were still in my, my mouth. So when I got home, I floss and stuff like that. So those are some things. Um, I haven't lost a pair yet or threw anything out. I do know people do that <laughs> too. Um, Cause that's easy to do, especially if you're just snacking, you rinse them off, you sit them there. If you don't put them in like the case, I don't always put them in a case. I'll just sit them on like a napkin. I'll rinse them out when I take them off. Cause it's always like saliva in them. And then I would just sit them on like a fresh napkin. And I'll, and I'll you know, brush my teeth, floss, brush my teeth, my floss, all that good stuff, and then I'm good. But to end this video, I would say, guys, <laughs> yes, you should get this. <laughs> I am not a spokesperson for them, but I actually enjoyed this process. It wasn't anything that I felt like I couldn't do. Um, it didn't limit me eating or anything like that. I think honestly what saved me too from the pain is changing them at nighttime. When I left there, she said, change them at night, it would limit the amount of pain. So I didn't think nothing of it. But I'll tell you this, the a little bit of pain that I had, it had to have done something. So maybe that's a good tip for you guys, change them at nighttime. So most of the pain is there when you are sleeping. So this is my teeth, guys. Let me see. It's so bright. I'm gonna, um. Yeah, it's so bright. It's because I have this thing here too. Let me see if I come a little closer. Oh yeah, look. This, yeah, this is my teeth, y'all. <laughs> so I'll pop in the picture again and see how much I can um, show you guys. Take a, I'm trying to take a, a good photo um, and see what I can show. So if you like videos like this, let me know if you want to. I'm actually going to, when I go back, I'm going to get more trays. So I'll probably do another video and then I'm not going to keep on with you guys with them. Um, I'll probably do another video once I get new trays to see how those feel because they have to mold it again and then I'll probably do a final final. In my head I'm thinking going until December. I'm going to see what they say but if I can get them as straight as I can that's what I'm going to do. You don't pay for additional trays which is perfect too. So you go until you're happy, opposed to if you have braces, you go until the orthodontist says to stop. So that's the other thing. But um, if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY. That is my business page. Coco Styles NYC is my personal page. And my blog, Coco Styles NYC, that's my call girl blog. Um, I write articles every two weeks now. I was doing them every week, but it just has so much stuff going on. And then my styling services website, CocoStylesNY.com. You guys know I offer styling services for corporate professional women for their workwear and their leisure wear. 
just pretty much getting them together because I know how it is to have a job and always buying work clothes and never really diving into your personal style when it comes to your leisure wear. So that is why I am here. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.